my channel. Welcome here. If you're new, I'm Jamie and I'm so glad that you're here for today's video and welcome to my home. Today's video is all about summer decor. This year has been a little trickier than most, but I have gotten so, so tired of my decor because we've been in the house so much with quarantine. So I was so excited to hit a couple of stores over the last couple of weeks and just pick up a few things here and there that really helped to kind of spruce up some different areas in my house. I'm going to show you all that. I know you saw some of it in the intro and um, I'm actually finishing up, but I have a couple of more things that I want to do and I thought I would take you along with me. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so you'll get all the notifications when I have a new video. I like to upload about once a week and it's usually some kind of mom content, home decor, organizing, fun with kids, stuff like that. So if you wanna stick around, be sure you do. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. So before we get into the decor that I've already done, I wanna go ahead and finish up a couple of things. So if you've been here a while, you know that I love fresh flowers. I like to have them in the house any time of the year, but spring and summer, definitely. So I just grabbed a couple of these, these $5 bunches that I get at the grocery store every few weeks. I grabbed a few of those. We're gonna arrange some arrangements for the table and anywhere else I can fit one. I like to have them all over. Um, we're gonna do that in a few minutes and then I need to update my brown paper roll. I have a really big roll of brown paper that hangs on the wall here in the kitchen and I like to keep it updated for the, for the season. So I've already started my idea there and I'm gonna bring you along to do the finishing touches on that. And then, oh, and then at the very end, I'm gonna make the super, super simple. Oh my gosh, I can't even really say it's a recipe. It's like a non-recipe recipe, if you follow me. It's just a couple of ingredients, but it's so, so good. I've had people say that it tastes like Starbucks pink drink, and I'm gonna put a little bit of a 4th of July flair on it, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And as always, if you have any questions, leave me a comment, and I will definitely take the time to respond to you. So I guess we'll get into it. I'll admit that I used to be a really big skeptic when it came to this plant food that they include with the grocery store bouquets when you buy them. And I guess about a year ago or so, I started using it. And I honestly, I think that it does make them last longer. Sometimes I can even get two weeks out of a bouquet, which is really, really good. 10 days is usually the norm, which for me, that is definitely getting my money's worth because I think these three, these three bunches cost me about $15. And you're gonna see, I'm gonna be able to make three really, really full arrangements with it, with some leftover. So for me, that is a win. Whenever I get started arranging, I definitely go through and look at each stem because they're always different. Even though, obviously, all these are hydrangeas, they are, some are bigger and some are more full and some are smaller. So I wanna put a big full hydrangea with a smaller one in the same vase. And since I'm doing three for the same centerpiece, I can kind of separate them out that way. I also like to measure up my stems using the side of the counter. It kind of gives me an idea of how tall I want them. And it really makes a difference whenever you cut them the appropriate length because that kind of makes or breaks your arrangement. can see that I'm doing the same thing with the sunflowers. The sunflowers are going to be the tallest flower in each vase and those are going to be my thrillers. So it's going to sound kind of weird if you're not familiar with this um, with this lingo but I picked it up somewhere and I think it's actually a landscaping term but it works really well for when you're arranging flowers. So you're going to think of three different ways to look at the florals that you choose. You want a thriller, a filler, and a spiller. And so what it means is you're looking for a main flower. So in these arrangements, the sunflower is obviously the main attraction. It's gonna be the most vibrant and it's also gonna be the tallest. So you wanna pick that out ahead of time, even when you're shopping so that you know you're gonna get the right florals for the vase that you're looking to fill. So the next would be the filler and that's gonna be what I'm working on right now. So you can see that um, this is gonna be all different heights. It's gonna be all different textures and it really doesn't matter. I like a vase that is full of flowers like that are not totally planned out and not totally symmetrical because it really gives that wildflower look. It kind of looks like you just scooped them up out of a field and stuck them in a vase and that's kind of the look I'm going for mostly because I have no idea what I'm doing, but <laughs> whenever you're thinking about your, your fillers, you just wanna pick something that has plenty of volume and lots of different varying textures. So I just bought a mixed bouquet of greenery filler. I liked the muted colors, the muted green in this one, so that's kinda why I went with it. 
And then your spiller is gonna be, for this arrangement, is gonna be the hydrangeas. And that's just a flower that spills over the edge. I honestly use hydrangeas most, most of the time for my spiller because it just has such a good shape to it and it really just gives that floppy look that I'm really going for around the base of the vase. So I'm just gonna put them in their home. This is a little toolbox we keep on the on the uh, center of the table and it's functional because it holds our salt and pepper and napkins and everything, but it's also beautiful. I really, really like the way it turned out. And as I'm finishing up, I realized that I definitely have some extra and I'm not gonna make let anything go to waste. So I take that extra filler and I have this beautiful basket that I got from Target recently and I hadn't really done anything with it yet, but I'm thinking I have a place for it. So stay tuned for that. But I um, I could tell right, right away that I was not gonna have enough filler to really achieve the look that I was going for. So I decide to go and get some artificial stems that I have just kind of set aside and really try to get the look that I'm going for. Using artificial stems mixed with real ones is kind of a trick that I do, I really use all the time all over the house. And as long as your wire is totally wrapped in plastic, you should have really good luck with it. You don't want to have any exposed wire because it will rust in the vase. But other than that, I was super happy with the way it turned out. Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of to pick up this mess. I made a huge mess whenever I was making those flower arrangements. I'm gonna clean the mess and then I'm gonna go ahead and start taking out the ingredients for the pink drink and I'll share that with you. Oh, and the darkness starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day cranberry strawberry juice cocktail, some unsweetened uh, coconut milk, and freeze-dried strawberries. I think this is why people sometimes think it's kind of like the, the pink drink at Starbucks because they also use freeze-dried strawberries in that, so maybe that's kind of why it gives it that little bit of a, of a flair. And then I'm gonna add some fresh blueberries on top just to make it patriotic. Okay, so keeping it really, really simple, we're going to put the juice over the ice about halfway or so just like this and you can see it's really pink already and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the freeze-dried strawberries I like to add them in the middle if you put them on top they don't they don't mix in well and just a few you don't have to put a whole whole ton all right just like that on top of the ice 
And then you're gonna go over top with the coconut milk. And fill it up. And it's really pretty whenever you do it. Just like that. I think I'm gonna make it extra special today just because <laughs> I've done this only one, one other time, but it was really good. So I'm gonna add some of the sweet cream, a coffee creamer, and I'm just gonna froth it a little bit to put on the top, just to kind of top it off. All right, I'm just gonna top it off with this frothed creamer and then stick my fresh blueberries on top of that. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? It's even cuter once we stir it up. And then we'll do the same for this one. Add a few blueberries. Just like that. You can see it is so pretty. It starts to kind of creep down to the bottom. And then we can add a really fun straw. Start to stir it up. And it's gonna get Kind of the same color as a pink drink. So, voila, there you have it. So that is completely it. It was so simple. Oh my gosh, and so good and creamy and delicious. If you try this, make sure you let me know. Definitely comment on this video and let me know how you liked it and if you think it compares to the pink drink at Starbucks. Like I said, I've never had it. So I'm not sure, but I know that I love this one. So I'm gonna sip on this while we go around the house and I'll kind of show you all the other little touches that I've added just over the last few weeks to make our house more summery. And hopefully it gives you some inspiration for a space in your home or some items that you wanna to add to your regular decor as well. So I figured we would get started right here by the front door. This is really the first thing you see whenever you walk in and I'm completely in love with this little basket. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that because I love to style it for all different seasons. And it's kind of like a wreath. You can just kind of change it out. But I like to just add different flowers and different things that um, kind of reflect that season, whether it's spring or summer. And so I decided to add some American flags just to give it a little pa patriotic vibe. And I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. You can kind of see that it's right there by the front door. So that kind of gives you an idea of, of what, um, of where it is and you know what people are seeing when they first come in so i'm really happy with the way it turned out it's not over the top i don't do a ton of patriotic but i really like the way this turned out so on the other side of that same foyer area is this buffet style piece of furniture we have here and i really didn't change much with um with this i recently redecorated this so i just kind of kept it simple i really kind of like the simplicity of it but i did add this fourth of july picture this is actually from two years ago right after Daisy was born. We're celebrating her second birthday this week. It's just, it's so hard to believe that, but that's one of my favorite pictures of us. I love the colors in it, and I just think it's really funny, and it kind of reflects us as a family, so I wanted to put that there. I also added these really fun wood beads here that say 4th of July. I got those at Hobby Lobby recently for, um, of course, 40% off or on sale, but I was really happy to find those. I like the way it just kind of blends in with the regular decor, and it's still very neutral. It doesn't just kind of you know, stand out and say, happy 4th of July. It's just kind of really understated. And I really liked that. On the opposite wall, we have this little corner table right here by the stairs. And I, it's just, it screams summer to me. I know that mostly because I'm using a lot of yellow and then also this beautiful pineapple cutout. This wall is just one of those places that I can never decide on what artwork I wanna keep here. I change it out all the time. And so this, uh, I found this little wood cut out at Hobby Lobby. I think I got it for like $8 or something like that. So I was really lucky to find it. I love the way it ties in with the same texture of the candle holder right here in the tray. And then I've added those yellow tulips they're so pretty and they also just kind of coordinate with this picture and Daisy's cute little linen blanket that she has. It just all feels so summery to me and I'm just really, really happy with the way it came out. It's really simple, but it's still really very summery. Mm -hmm. 
Moving into our living room, also known as Kids Central, it's usually totally covered with toys. And even though I did pick up for this video, I still have to be really careful about the decor I use in here. I like to keep it really simple because the kids are, you know, on couches and they're um, knocking things over and things like that. So if it can't be replaced, I definitely don't use it. I don't worry about it. But I do like to keep the built-in styled and um, I just added a little, a uh, few pops of color here and there. You can see on the left side, I added the lemon painting and up on the right top shelf, there's a little yellow vase. You'll be able to see that in the next shot. But I love these little canvases. I think I picked this one up from Kirkland's for less than $10. And you know, artwork like this could be $800 or it could be $8. And it still is just as beautiful. So I was happy to find that and I love the color. There you go, you can see that little vase at the um, on the top right and that's just like a little balance. I like to use a little bit of color on both sides and of course it pairs perfectly with the basket that I arranged earlier. I love the little yellow flowers in that. I think it looks so great on the mantle so I'm really happy with happy with that and again I have my little muted patriotic vibes there on the mantle and I love the way that looks as well. Here's another shot just a couple of pops of yellow that we have in the blanket and the pillows. I picked up those pillows at Target and I believe the blanket is from Home Goods. But I like that bright, bright lemon yellow. I just think it's so pretty and so summery. Headed into the sitting area, we have this beautiful little antique table by the back door and I just kept it really simple here. It's not very sturdy, so I always keep it simple, but I just added this vintage box that we have. Um, I love decor like this that you can use for all different seasons. This time I just had these pears and apples that are kind of yellow stained I added. And then of course we have our little terrarium there with our air plants and our succulents. But I really like the way that yellow pops. It's just, um, it was decor that I already had. I've used it for years in different areas, but anytime you can get your hands on a vintage box like this, there's so many possibilities. I just love it. Here's a shot of the sitting, um, the sitting room, and I know you saw this in the intro, but I just, I have to keep it really simple on the table because Daisy, my, our toddler, can reach all of this. So we don't ever light this candle whenever um, she's around, of course, or if we do, we put it up on the bar. But I think it's so pretty here in this area on this tray, and that's a faux fern there, so it's really indestructible. And then I do have a glass jar, but she's um, she's been told no a couple of times, and she leaves it alone now. So. Here's a shot of our chairs. Um, of course, I have my bloom pillows that a friend of mine got me. Such, such a sweet, sweet treasure. Making our way into the kitchen, I have to mention this little kid table. We never had a kid table with any of our other children, but since we've had Daisy, we actually brought this down from the girls' room, and I'm so glad we did because they use it for everything. Um, recently, I covered it with brown paper and added crayons because we were having some, some coloring happening on the table, and I really like the way it turned out, and the kids love it. Heading over to the um, the main part of the kitchen, I added this really pretty farmhouse um, little arrangement in the window. All of that is faux. It just kind of adds a pop of color. Of course, we have our basil and our green onion. My basil was not happy outside, so I added it uh, right here by the sink, and it's just done really, really well. So. Here's a shot so you can kind of see. I try not to decorate the counters too much because I really like to have my counter space available. But if I'm gonna use it and it's functional, I don't mind leaving it out. So our cutting boards are out because they're pretty and our knives. Um, this is actually a an old Cajun cookbook that I have just recently used two of the recipes out of it. It's really, really good. I have no idea if you can still buy it or not. I think it's from the late 70s, but I really love it. And I loved the pop of orange that just kind of coordinated with my new dish towels. Of course, we have our, our fresh eggs. We try to have that as much as possible. 
But moving over into the dining room area, this is the brown paper that I did earlier. Of course, um, you were there for that. So I know you got to see that. I had already kind of penciled in what I wanted it to say. So I just kind of was able to go over it with marker while, while I was filming. But I'm happy with the way it turned out. It's never perfect, but it's definitely perfect enough for us. So this, um, this little setup is always so pretty and seasonal because this is where we keep our fruits and vegetables. Um, anything that's not refrigerated goes right here. And I just absolutely love the way it looks. I have a really, really cool um, story about my fruit basket that I'll have to just wait for another video. But anytime I see our fruit basket overflowing like this, it just really reminds me about God's blessings and just how blessed we are um, with everything that we have in our life. But Anyway, I'm gonna start wrapping this video up. I am so glad that you were here. This is another shot at our beautiful arrangement that um, that you were able to see me create. And you can kind of see how it's just really messy and um, very, you know, disheveled looking, which I'm really happy with. I never am too particular about arranging flowers. I'm just so grateful to have them fresh and be able to, to enjoy them every day. It really doesn't matter to me if they're perfect or not. And honestly, you're the one that defines uh, perfection in your own home so you can make it look however you want it to look and if you love it you just go with it girl that's what I always I always tell myself and I always tell others whenever they're looking for inspiration so I hope you love this video I hope it gave you some ideas to spruce up your home for summer and if you have any questions definitely reach out to me make sure you're following me on Instagram for other inspiration during the week and I will see y'all right back here next week with a brand new video